Hi you guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I journal a trip that my boyfriend and I took to Six Flags. Here's all the stuff that I saved from our day. I have a receipt, I have an entertainment schedule that has all the shows, I have the park map with a bunch of things that you can do there, and of course, how to get around the park. And then I have some photos. I have a photo strip from a little photo booth at the park and I also printed a photo collage on my Canon selfie that I'm going to cut up to put into my Hobonichi. Here I'm just cutting up that photo collage so that I can put each individual picture onto a page. And I'm also cutting out the photo booth pictures to make it a better size to fit. Now you're going to see me cutting up a bunch of stuff here. This is the schedule of all the animal shows that we saw while we were there. I'm also cutting up the park map to get just the rides that we went on. And here you can see that I cut my page in my Hobonichi. Whoops! So I'm just putting some tape, no big deal. We're going to cover it up anyway with photos and other stuff. I saved a lot of stuff from this day and you can do that too if you want to start a journal like this. If you go somewhere fun, grab a brochure or a map, save your receipts. You can even do that for just a date night out to a restaurant or a lunch with friends. Grab a business card from the restaurant and save it and put it with your receipt into your journal. These little details add a lot to your journal pages. Now that I have everything cut out, I'm just going to arrange everything on these two pages to get it just how I want it to be before I glue it down. Even though our Six Flags trip was only one of these days, I'm going to use both days to maximize the space. Sometimes I'll do that if I had a party or something exciting that I want to feature more, I'll take up more than one day. And there's nothing wrong with that, you can do whatever you want in your journal, even if it's dated like the Hobonichi. As I journal, I'll make adjustments as I see things that I want to change. So right here I'm just cutting this photo out a little bit more so that I can fit more stuff on that first page. The glue dot roller that I'm using is from Tombow, I'll have it linked below, and I love this thing and I always use this glue dot roller in my journal. Here I'm gluing everything down. And I tried to go in somewhat of a chronological order by putting the rides that we went on first on the first page and then I featured more of the animal shows that we went to on the second page. I decided to use the photo strip photo as a little tip in between the two pages. The back of this photo strip is blank so I'm going to use that as more area to journal. This is a great way to maximize space in your journal if you have more to write or more photos to include on a spread. Just tape them in like this with a little bit of washi tape and it looks really cool. Now I'm using a thin washi tape to kind of spice up my spread a little bit. I'm just tearing small pieces and adding them in different spots on my two pages to make it look a little bit more lively and decorated. The last thing I need to do is my actual journal writing. I don't have enough room to write down every single thing we did. I could have left more blank space to write if I wanted to, but for this I felt it was appropriate to add in all of these pictures and fun things and then just write about the highlights of the day. How the spread turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed going through the process with me. Leave me a comment down below if you like this kind of video and I can definitely try to make more for you guys. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them down below. As always, I'd love to chat with you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to see new videos from me every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.